Okay, so welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be curing up some salmon eggs, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's super easy and super effective when fishing for salmon, so let's get into it. Okay, so you do not need a lot of stuff. As you can see, I've laid out all the items you will be needing. First, we have some one-gallon Ziploc bags. Trash bags that work fine. I like these. These are easy. Then we have some Potsky's Fire Cure. And get this at any local store that sells fishing items. I got it at Sports and Warehouse for $9.29. Then we have nice fresh coho eggs caught up this morning. Nice right there. And then we have just a regular bait knife. Super dull. It does not need to be sharp. Then we have a nice trash bag clean laid out over my table just above the ground to keep the animals off of it. And then I also have a pair of latex gloves to keep my hands clean because that dye does not come off hands. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take your eggs out. That's a lot of nice fresh coho eggs. Now you can leave your eggs in the fridge for just a couple of days. You don't want to go any more than three days, but they will go bad. So first thing I did when I filleted these is I dried them off with a paper towel. One thing you want to do is keep them completely dry, or well, as dry as you can. The first thing I'm going to do is just lay these out. Nothing fancy, just a couple inches apart. Doesn't matter which lay side you lay them. Alright. So now that we have the eggs laid out, the next thing you're going to do is take your knife right in there you want to get this out this rots after you cure it and it gives a bad scent and it can taint the bite so you're going to take your knife and you're going to do this to all the fillets any vein you see in there you're going to want to work that out get it out nothing has to be perfect the little's in there that's fine i mean you can see these ones if the fish didn't get properly bled too much you'll get a lot more of this i think i did a pretty good job bleeding these fish so they're looking good thing you're going to do is flip it to the side where it kind of shows the eggs. So that would be the opposite side of the skein. And you're just going to take your knife and gently work it down. Gently work that down into the eggs. This is called butterflying. Now this is very crucial. Now you do not want to cut the skein. That is the worst possible thing you could do. Get it nice and butterflied, laying flat. You're going to do this to all of these. Nice butterflying. Very gently, slow strokes. Like I said, you do not need to apply much pressure on these eggs. Just kind of rip up. Really don't need a sharp knife. Get that blood paint off there. Right. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Now, you want to keep all the uh, game. Right, you have all the blood paint off each row of eggs and the eggs butterflied. The next step in the curing process is the egg curing. So I got the pink rose. For silvers, I prefer pink. For kings, I prefer the red rose. It really doesn't matter too much color. I mean, the biggest thing when you're fishing for salmon eggs is scent. Appearance just doesn't matter that much. So we're gonna open that up. All right, so I like to use the uh, sprinkler end and a uh, now, don't be bashful with this stuff. It's pricey, but don't be bashful. I mean, you can give that a nice, healthy amount on that. I mean, it's pricey, I will argue, but it works. It works. You just want to get a nice, even coat on there. Really want to touch each section of the eggs the best you can. Really getting that on there. Don't breathe this stuff in, please. Don't let your children eat it. 
All right, so now that you have all the eggs, might even coat on there. The next step is to rub it in gently. The goal is to get every section of eggs covered with the cure. Just gonna gently rub it in. So you can already see it's actually already starting to get moist. So the goal of curing eggs is to take the moisture out of the eggs itself and almost not make it hard, but almost give it like a firmness to it. And that's what the egg cure does. This is why you butterfly it right here. You get all of that cure right in to the eggs. Sometimes lift it up, get it nice, even coat on there. You're gonna rub all these in best you can. All right, so now that you got the egg cure all rubbed into the eggs, the next thing to do is to flip it over to the skein side. So that's the side with this little like, I don't know what it really is called. I mean, it's called a skein, but I don't really know how to describe it. It's just like a thin layer of skin in this. So you're just gonna flip all these over like so. Yeah. Alright, so once you get them all flipped over, you're going to take some more of the cure, and you're just going to give it the lightest little sprinkle. All you're really doing on the skin side is trying to give it just the slightest bit of crust. Slightest bit of crust, the eggs hold together better. Just the slightest bit. Slightest bit of cure. All of these. Like so. Alright. Now after you do that, gonna take your hand and rub it in. Don't take much, just a quick rub. Just gently. See how that cure soaks into the eggs immediately. Now there are very few things in life where I enjoy more than curing eggs. There are others fishing and uh, you know eating burritos and that's about it right there. Alright. Let's get all that rubbed in. Now, this is where the plastic bags come in. So you got your Ziploc bag. You're just gonna take every piece of row, pop it right up in your Ziploc bag. You're just gonna take every piece of row, gently put it right into the bag. Gently, not to crush any eggs. Crushing eggs can give it a bad scent. And take the bite. You're fishing for salmon, it's all about the smell. A lot of people think it's the uh, appeal of the eggs, it's the smell. And I'm going to fit every piece in this bag. And it's actually better to do one bag instead of several small bags. And I'll show you why in just a sec. All right. So now that we got that all in there, you can take a little more cure, just dump it in there. Don't be bashful. All right, so now zip the bag closed. You don't really need to get much air out. I mean, get some of it, don't get all of it. I prefer to leave a little bit. All right, now you're just gonna kind of mix that in with your hand. Just gently rub it. And you can see all that juice starting to come out right in there. Flip it over. Whoops. Same thing. Kind of rub it in. Just get all that egg juice. Get all over the eggs. Flip it upside down. It's very hard to film with one hand. I apologize. Get nice rubbed in back side up and you can see how much juice is already starting to build up so once you do that for a while keep it at a couple minutes good take it set it down and now you're gonna let this sit for oh a couple hours flip it mix it around a couple more hours flip it mix it around you know every couple hours mix it around every time you can for 24 hours after that, you're going to lay all the eggs out on the table to let them dry. And I usually go 12 hours, sometimes you go 24. You don't want to go much over 24. 
I mean, sometimes six hours works. It really just depends. You want to build just the slightest bit of crust on those eggs. And you can also see why I say you want to wear gloves, because this stuff does not come off your hands. It's like a pink dye. It's also why you want to have a trash bag on your table. All right, so next you're going to leave these for 24 hours. Okay, so it's been 24 hours, and I've been moving around the eggs and rubbing them every now and then for the last 24 hours. And now the next step in the process is to take the eggs out of the bag. Okay, so flip that open, turn it up, and just pour them out. And you can see all that liquid starting to ooze. Just like that. It's beautiful. Okay, so what you're going to do now is take the eggs and just lay them out just like that. Nothing special, just a couple inches apart. Super easy. Just like so. Uh, nothing fancy. All right, so now that you have them all laid out, space doesn't have to be perfect. You're just gonna let them sit like this for 12 to 24 hours. Um, it really depends what you want. If you want a good scent, you want it to only go 12 hours or so. But if you want them to be firm and last long on the hook, you probably would go about 24 hours. So it really depends what you want. I like 24 hours. I like them to stay on the hook nice. Like that, so we're gonna leave these for 24 hours. All right, it's been 24 hours, and as you can see, the eggs have really crisped up a lot. They have a little bit of a firmness to them. This is what you want. They're nice and holding together. As you can see, that skein dried up just a little bit. That's perfect. That's gonna hold together a lot better on the hook. Yeah, but they're not dry. They're just firm, not dry. You don't want them to be crispy. Those have no scent if they're crispy like that. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do to store the eggs is, I mean, you don't have to do anything special or anything like that. Some people vacuum seal, some people can them. I just like to take a plastic bag, like a Ziploc bag. Okay, so I have these one gallon Ziploc bags. By great value, you can get these at any grocery store for like four bucks for like 60 bags, super cheap, super nice. So what you're gonna do is just take each egg, pop them right in there, it doesn't have to be perfect. Try and keep this goo out of it though, you don't want this goo on them. Some people might think you do, but you do not want the goo. You know, it might help a scent trail, but once you freeze these or refrigerate them, it tends to make the eggs gooier than we want. They don't stay on the hook as well. Keep putting all the eggs in the bag. All right, now that you got all the eggs in the bag, what you're gonna do is just sip it a little ways, or all the ways, but leave just a little bit open like that, and then just take all the air out of that. That'll help keep it fresher. Careful not to break any eggs, really. And just sip this. And then you got one nice bag of eggs, and then, I have this other bag over here, which I'm gonna pop that in there like that. Like so. Once again, very tricky with one hand, I apologize. Put that in there. And there you go. And what's that gonna do is just, when I put it in my fridge, it's not gonna make a big mess. And I might wipe off the edges just to keep it a little cleaner. Like so, and that's pretty much all you need to know. I mean, I can't say there's much other to do than that. I mean, that's a pretty genuine recipe. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, every view counts, every like counts, every subscriber counts. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the
things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish